hey guys so uh, welcome back again to the channel so uh, i try to make uh, this video as quickly as possible but uh, if you are into the crypto world you may already know you may have already gotten the message uh, from the ledger itself where where basically uh, they got the data breach in July and apparently those data right now are coming in let's say into action where basically people that have gotten the data from ledger like email addresses name number phones and so on they are now uh, they are now uh, into action let's call it this way trying and scam people by sending emails because obviously they have the emails by sending physical letters by sending messages on their phones because they have uh, their no uh, their phone numbers and so on and trying to scam their um, uh, saying that uh, you are in danger so click on this link or fill this form or give me the 24 uh, word phrase and so on basically trying to uh, to steal the um, uh, the funds from our ledger nano s or ledger nano x so in uh, action to that i know that i got back to my roots on the blockchain videos but i felt this is an important one because the importance really guys this is not a problem for your funds in the ledger nano s or ledger nano x that you own or any ledger device that you own so keep this in mind your funds are secure if you don't share your 24 word phrase basically you are fine so uh, as they say officially in here never ever share your 24 word phrase with anyone not even a ledger we will never ask you for uh, them so basically if you got a message uh, if you got a letter, if you got an email that says ledger and uh, ask you to click on link to uh, to fill a formula to especially to give them the 24 word phrase, basically that's a scam or to ask you any information for that matter, even if it says ledger.com and so on it is a scam do not click do not fill uh, any form anything do not uh, return any messages because they are all scams so basically this is uh, the most important step stay calm because your funds on the ledger are safe if you don't share these data uh, with uh, with uh, the emails uh, sms or whatever you uh, may be contacted with uh, you are fine do not uh, do keep your uh, do keep your 24 word phrase uh, say as safe as possible somewhere where no one can access it no one not even a ledger not even your friends your family anyone if you can keep that safe for yourself your funds are always going to be safe because even if someone steals physically your ledger nano s uh, or gets access to uh, to your ledger live and so on without the 24 word phrase uh, there isn't much uh, they can do and obviously you you can get your funds back with a 24 word phrase so uh, this is the most important step stay calm because this is not a big deal uh, it's a big deal if you are a e-commercial like uh, they say here on the article so you can go ahead and uh, um, and read about this because maybe your data are important i don't know for uh, for something else but not for your crypto on your ledger nano s so again it has nothing to do with your crypto but it says it right here while very truly and sincerely regrettable this breach uh, concerns only e-commerce related information so i don't know i'm i have no clue what the what this means but i'm pretty sure that 99.9 percent .9 of you guys that have uh, uh, lost this data in here um, are not going to be affected by this so this is uh, very important and if you go to the blog post in here of ledger the official page uh, do go only on the official page do not click any links that will come to you by email sms or anything else any any link even if it's formed from ledger use always the uh, the official ledger.com page page uh, for everything so basically if we see uh, this six ways to face the data breach uh, stay calm never share your 24 word phrase as we mentioned strengthen strengthen your access security which basically means that uh, you can change your password and pin code uh, for your ledger live and your ledger uh, nano s device 
uh, never pay ransom emails that um, may uh, tell you that uh, give me money because I have your data and so on uh, plausible deniability so basically you can read all this stuff uh, what you can do here on uh, the official ledger pa uh, page is go to your ledger live that you have on PC obviously we need to access it and as you can see after you access it you will immediately see this one there uh, are ongoing phishing scams on our uh, uh, user base uh, please be careful and never share your recovery phrase again learn more so it can take you onto the, the official page so you can learn and uh, and read for uh, to uh, for all of what i have told you till now so do not share anything even with ledger even with ledger do not share anything guys i'm never gonna say it enough do not share anything even with the ledger even if it says ledger.com you need to comply only to the official ledger live application that you have on your pc or only to the official page that uh, uh, you can find obviously in the ledger.com uh, domain so here you go to manager and you will see that we have to connect the device so let's connect our device with the usb port really quick in here so now i will have to enter my previous code so just a second guys till i do this really quick okay done um so now uh, allow ledger manager on your device okay we need to allow it uh, by physically pressing the buttons on our ledger sorry that i don't have the camera to show you guys but i'm pretty sure you know this so you just press the two buttons uh, at once and you allow the access to the ledger uh, to the ledger device and basically that's it as you can see we have a firmware update to do at least i have because i am on firmware uh, firmware update uh, firmware uh, 1.6.0 and we have uh, firmware 1.6.1 uh, so to do the update it's uh, really easy through ledger live now if you are on an earlier um, firmware uh, like maybe 1.4 or, or even lower than that i guess you need to do another uh, uh, method of upgrade first before you do one but anyway you can try it here if it works okay if it doesn't work then you can go onto the official page and see what do you have to do if you are in an older version but as you can see now we can go ahead and update the firmware so we click on on update firmware obviously uh, then we will be greeted obviously with this uh, one uh, with uh, the things that have changed okay we have the uh, I have the recovery phrase of course and we hit on continue okay now it's uh, downloading uh, is downloading the update and basically it asks for again for the recovery phrase for the 24 word recovery phrase because because that's the most important one if you don't own that one then obviously uh, then obviously you need to download to get that 24 word phrase before doing this upgrade because uh, because maybe something might happen along the way and you might need the 24 recovery uh, the 24 word recovery phrase so that's why uh, it was asking it now it says that the identifier we have uh, some codes in there where basically uh, we press the button uh, the right button on our ledger uh, on the ledger screen it says update firmware we press the right button and it will say version 1.6.1 obviously the update that we're going to do then we have the identifier one of four as you can see i have four identifiers there and you need to identify each code that uh, the code on uh, shown on the ledger uh, it um, it is the same with the co the, uh, the identifier codes that we have on the screen so this is the first one i just checked and it matches it's uh, the same then we press again the right button we go to the second identifier code which is this one in here and uh, basically it's the same then we go to the third one then we go to the fourth one okay for me uh to see one a c seven b e six three seven a okay th uh, all the identifiers are okay so hit uh the right button again 
and it says perform update okay now it says on the screen of the ledger sorry that i'm not sharing this with you it says perform update to perform uh, the update uh, we can press obviously the two buttons as we do usually with our ledger device uh, to confirm something so we press uh, both buttons now to perform the update we enter our pin code the the current one that uh, you have obviously and uh, the last number okay we confirm with both buttons again and it's the ledger logo on the screen uh, on the computer it says firmware update it's updating uh, down on the screen it says update processing obviously as it usually does when we are uh, doing an update for the firmware so let me fast forward this and catch you guys after it is done okay then so firmware update please reinstall the apps on your device obviously the the apps uh, that we had uh, installed i mean the apps in this case are the wallets for your coins that you already had uh, installed on your ledger device if you have any coins if you don't have uh, coins then you can uh, install them later but obviously i will install them because uh, i need to use them so i will hit on reinstall apps we'll uh, connect the ledger again obviously enter the code the pin code as usual so bear with me a little bit until i do that okay the last digit nice we confirm that okay now it is uh, installed allow ledger manager on your device obviously we will allow that of course come on i just removed uh, my cable okay allow pressing both buttons of course to allow that loading up please cable do not disconnect okay let's uh, finish the installation now of the wallets as uh, they were before the bitcoin wallet and litecoin wallet that i had uh, on my ledger and basically you are done what you can do a step further you can go into the settings on the ledger live and you can change your password again just for good measure it's uh in my personal opinion it's not needed but if you want you can do that you can uh, uh, you can change your password in here and also you can change the pin code on the ledger device but that's uh, not also related to this uh, data leak because it's not needed but just to be let's say a little bit um, uh, a little bit more relaxed within yourself but again it's not a breach on the actual coins it's a breach only on the personal data like addresses uh, name uh, phone numbers email and the other stuff that we have uh, obviously uh, shared with ledger with ledger when we uh, we are registered with this uh, company so uh, basically the coins are safe again the coins are safe again if you don't lose your 24 word phrase if you don't share it then the coins are a hundred a hundred percent secure so don't you worry about that just keep that code safe and that's it and you are done now you can also do the latest uh, firmware update it's uh, as you saw it was very very uh, simple to do again if you are on an older version that 1.6.0 uh, then you might need to do something else but anyway you can try it first here if it doesn't work then you have to upgrade maybe into an earlier ver uh, firmware uh, first and then go um, uh, come again here and do the latest firmware update okay then so that was it for today thank you very much for your support guys uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already also turn on notifications so you never miss one of my new videos and uh, as usual i will catch you guys on the next one bye bye